What's new at Timu? You gotta check out some of these buys. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Chloe and Bandit aren't with me this evening, but if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for checking us out. We hope you decide to stay, and if you're returning, thank you so much for being part of our YouTube family. So you all know I don't do a lot of Timo. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them, mainly because they kind of did me dirty, um, invited me into their influencer program, and then when I went to use the codes, they said, oh no, you're not, you're not accepted even though you invited me. So, I don't know. So I have a love-hate relationship with them. And I also don't know that they're, most, they're the most reputable business, but I went on there and I saw that they had licensed stuff from the manufacturer. So similar to Amazon in that they have their own warehouse, they do have uh, different sellers on there. So. While Timo is sending it to you, much like Amazon would send it to you, there's different sellers. And they actually had the Laneige brand direct from Laneige to them, to you. And the, I think it's called Sanrio that does Hello Kitty. So I was like, all right, I got to check this out. I need to get some Easter items anyway for my daughter. So I was, I, I went on there and then they were like, oh, you can have this for nothing. We'll give you three free items or, you know, like they do to draw you in. So drawn in, I did get. So I have these two bags here. I think I did two orders. I could have done three, but here's what I got. They weren't in the orange bag either. I was a little surprised. Let's start with the smaller bag. So I picked up this. This was like, I don't know, maybe a dollar, a dollar ninety-seven. Really, really inexpensive. But this is for seeds, so it has the clear and then the bottom to put the seeds in. It looks like it's got some sort of seed feed to keep it too fat. What's it got? Oh no, I don't know what that is for. It's just a one pack. I'm not really sure what you do with that. There's no instructions. And your seeds are going to go in here. You can put the water underneath to make sure that they get properly watered. And oh, that goes on the top, it looks like. And then we have the little top to give it that kind of greenhouse effect. So I thought Chloe would have a lot of fun with that. We like to do plants, and I am terrible with seeds. So I thought this might be, you know, something that might actually work for us. Yeah, so that goes on top and you can close it or keep it open, whatever you need to do based upon how much air that it needs to get at that particular time, I guess. All right, I picked up these for my daughter for her um, Easter basket, even though it's past season. These are shark gloves. So she loves all things having to do with the ocean and she loves sharks. She's a huge shark advocate. So these are some fingerless gloves. And I just thought she would love that. Okay, next, I've been seeing everybody have these little toppers for their straws out of their thermoses. I call them thermoses, water bottles, whatever you want to call them. So I did pick up, I picked up a few. Here's the first one that I'm finding. It's a little seal, and I just thought that was super cute. There might be more in there, but I can't remember. All right, I have this hair tie with cinema roll on it. And she, this is her favorite character from the Hello Kitty series or family or whatever it is. All right, then we have a headband. So when she's washing her face or doing a face mask, I got her a cinnamon roll um, hair pusher backer. I got this for my car. So this is a little clip that you can put your sunglasses in and you're going to clip it to the 
visor and then oh, you open it up you put like the nose part in here and then it just holds it there on your visor we have this lunch box so i always put her food in a bento box just because it's easy to just get everything in there other than like if she wants to bring some sort of chip item but everything else i can get in there and store in the refrigerator these have a fork and spoon and so this is just a two-piece but you know that's great for fitting a sandwich in there and then maybe like some veggies and i could also maybe even fit like a little thing of hummus in there for the veggies and then your silverware is neatly tucked away right there we have a fuzzy hair clip again cinema roll we have this i thought this was interesting it's actually a mesh um fence so i'm hoping that this will work so that my dogs don't like rush the front door i have a raised ranch so I'm hoping to put this at the top of the stairs and it's not something that I'll have to drill into the wall, but can just hopefully easily put up and keep them from rushing the door. Okay, now I am an 80s girl. I'm just going to put that right out. So when I saw these, I was like, yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Okay, so you see these little clips, there's a little thing in the center. You take that and you push your shirt through one side and out the other, and it gives you, so when you have a shirt that's too big or too long or whatever, you can put it in there, you can give yourself that kind of half tuck look if it's not one of, and I have several shirts like that, so this is perfect for that, and I know that's so 80s, but so am I. All right, I don't recall what this actually was and why I wanted it, but I'll try to find a picture of how it looked set up and see if that helps me understand it. This is slanted. I'm not sure why. Um, it looks like you're gonna, I don't even know. I don't even know what this is for. What is this for? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm very confused. According to the picture, this goes in there and I have, I have no clue. I'm very confused as to what this is, why that slants, why I wanted it, but here we are with this. Okay, we get onto that next big bag. All right, next we have this big old bag here. We're going to get into this. I know I ordered some handbags that I thought were kind of nice and a little designer dupe kind of um, feel to them. So the first thing I'm pulling out, I believe this is a little throw blanket. So here it is. It is super soft and not the biggest, not the biggest. This didn't have different sizes though. So um, this is more like maybe baby size and it's baby soft, but that's all right because it'll look nice decoratively in her room. So she'll enjoy that. I do wish that it had size choices. Maybe I missed that, but I don't feel like I saw that it had size choices. All right, also as an Easter present, we have this little stuffed octopus. And, you know, she has informed me that when she gets older, she's going to have a pet octopus. So, it kind of looks like a squid though. Well, I guess it looks like an octopus. But anyway, she will like this. She'll like the little detail. All right, here is a whole set of those little um, toppers for straws. So I figured I could keep some, gift some, give some away. And you know, I think they're just kind of fun, useful little items. So there are some really cute ones in here. And there's a lot of duplicates, so I can certainly kind of play around and do things with those. I think this bag has leaked because there's a little wetness in here. But, so this is one of those designer bags. It's kind of that puffy type. And it's got like a little, almost, um, I don't know, like interesting strap there. But I just thought that was super, super cute. I like that puffer material. I'm really drawn to that. And this pink is a great color. And if I don't keep it, I'll definitely give it to my niece. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Because this is her color. All right, next we have this bag, and I loved this blue, and I just thought this kind of strap detail was just so interesting, 
and I don't know, kind of designer baggy. I don't know. There could be a designer bag out there like this. I'm not sure. So we have this nice adjustable strap, just a very simple bag design, a zipper pocket, and then just an open pocket to, it's not very deep, but you could put your sunglasses in kind of, you know, this way versus this way. And they had a variety of colors. I just was like, I want something kind of fun for the season. All right, this is a bathroom phone holder. I hope it fits my phone. Um, my daughter's phone holder is smaller, so it should definitely fit hers. But this is so you can go in the shower and have this with you. And you're just going to, um, I don't know how you install this. Oh, it looks like there's a little maybe sticker thing in here that you're going to put in there and then put that on. And... You could also just sit it on the bath side. And then you're just going to open it like that. Put your phone in and then you can listen or sit in the tub and watch a movie or whatever it is you're going to do. So this is one of those bedside holders and I got some from, I think that, no, from Amazon. I got some, I got one from FabFitFun and I loved it. So then I bought another two from Amazon, one for my husband, one for my daughter, but they were different. They weren't the same. I didn't like it as much. This looks like it's the same as the one that I got from, or at least very similar from FabFitFun. So yes, it's, it's, I think identical. I hate to say that, but I think it's identical. So this, there's some little Velcro tabs in here and you install this in there and then you just hook it over the side. The ones that I got from Amazon didn't have this kind of metal thing to kind of hold it and make it nice and firm like this. And then the straps had to just go around and it was just very difficult on my daughter's bed to do that. It just did not want to work. So yeah, I may have to go back on and get another one of these. I just wanted to get one to make sure I think that's, oh no, wait a minute. I did get two. I did get two. All right. And I have this over this over by my bed, and I use these pockets to put the bed remote because I have an adjustable bed and hand lotion. And then in here, I actually sit like a cup up inside of here, although we do have the sides for that. I just sit one right in there so that the cats don't knock it over on the bedside table. We have a shark topper. You know that's for the kids. And we have these shark socks that you put on and it looks like the shark is eating your leg. So look at how cute those are. It's got the little fin. And then I got this bag here. So just pull out the strap so this has that same oh it's kind of quite frayed though but that same kind of strap and you can cross body it but I just really I don't know I just was really drawn to that but this I don't know if you can see how kind of it's just very the quality on this is just not there there's all these frayed ends I don't know if the camera's picking that up but there's all these like string sticking out. I'll try to trim it down with some scissors, see how that works. This I thought was adorable for the fall. So it's just, again, another little bag, but it's got this fleece on the outside with this great print. And this does look very nice. Like, I don't think people would be able to tell like, oh, you, you know, you got that from Timu for like eight bucks or whatever I paid for it. Um, but it's really, really nice. Yeah, I do like that. I just wish this what tag wasn't here. Let's see if I can cover that up with something else. Okay, this has lots of pieces here. So, and lots more. It almost feels like um, foam. I mean, I'm sure it's press board, but it feels kind of foamy. Here's the little mirror. So, super cute, but yeah, I'm not going to put that together right this minute. Okay, this is another thing that needs to be put together, but it has all of these different 
shelves and then something you're going to stand it up on. So I'll put that together, take pictures of it, and tack that up there for you so you can see. Maybe I'll just probably grab a picture off the website actually just to kind of speed up because sometimes it takes me a while to um, edit the, the videos and then I forgot that I was going to do that and take the pictures and put it up there. So I might just take the pictures off the website to show you what it's supposed to look like. But I thought this would be a good little storage option for cosmetics. All right, so there are still more items coming in. I do have things that were direct from Laneige. I don't know if they're coming in a Timu bag or they're coming direct from Laneige, but my guess is they're gonna come in a Timu bag. Um, I don't think I have that much more, but I know the Laneige stuff is definitely not in here. There's also a couple more Easter gifts for Chloe that I'm waiting on, but I really think like it's interesting that they are dealing direct with Sanrio with Laneige, with some of these companies. So you're not getting duped. You're getting the actual thing at a discounted price, which is nice. Like it is a nice discounted price. So, you know, it's a love-hate relationship, but they still keep me coming back with all these great deals. So that's it for now. Let me know your thoughts. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And hopefully I'll see you soon.